Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on the Penguins keeping him in the end, Afghani Malkin, as we're going to react to that and grade it as he gets four years, $6.1 million per year. Ron Hextall, some people think, blinked in the end, but did he really? Because if you look at the Latang, Russ, Raquel, and Malkin contracts, they all come in at a whopping just $22.3 million, according to the great Josh Yo, And, um... That's way less than projected, and that's huge for the Pens. I think Ron Hextall deserves the credit here, but also needs to be pointed out, sometimes doesn't notice the personal side of things and focuses too much on the business side. But here, Sidney Crosby stepped in, and Crosby stepped in and really did help, of course, the team in terms of persuading Hextall to keep Evgeny Malkin around, and I think this was a good move, because to keep Latang, Malkin, Raquel, and Rust, who were huge parts of your core uh, players going forward, for only $22.3 million, that is absolutely huge, and that is a great job by Ron Hextall and his team to do that. So he deserves the A-plus credit here, because all those signings, Latang still is one of the better defensemen in the league, especially quarterback and power play, and is obviously a good two-way defenseman, a very good one. And then Raquel, a very good in-the-jammer player that's a very good along the boards, very good shot, a guy that continues to improve on the both ways, and then Russ is a great both ways player, and then Malkin is the most effective in the offensive zone, of course. But when healthy, I would say you could still put him in the top 25, when only playing 40-something games, I think he's still a top 50 player because when playing the games, he's still a point per game. So it's just you're not going to put a guy that only plays 45 in the top 25, unless if they're like McDavid and they score 85 points to 105 in 45 games, but that's a different story. Malkin, though, I think this is a great signing. I also think the Raquel signing, um, so I might as well just group that into this video as well. I would say the Ricard Raquel signing was also a very good signing for Pittsburgh because he's another player. You have to know who you want to build around, right? And the Penguins seem to kind of have figured out who's the best players to build around. And I think they actually still have a pretty good core here. They kept Latang, they kept Malkin, obviously they still have Crosby, they kept Russ, and they also kept Raquel. So I, I really don't think they're going to have any problems still being a playoff team next year because I like Tristan Yari and Nett. The only question is health. The question is health with Malkin, and you have to continue to hope that the health that Latang had this year continues into the future if you're in Penn's nation. But I think it's overblown by some of the media of the aging of this team. Yes, they could reminisce a bit of how the Yankees fell for a bit after they aged across sports into baseball. But they're not two in the same because nobody on the Yankees team, even if you include Derek Jeter, is aging like Cindy Crosby. So they got a star that's still amazing in his mid-30s. They also have another star that's still amazing in his mid-30s in Chris Tang, and a third star that's still amazing in his mid-30s. He just has to stay healthier in Afghani Malkin. So they have those with the Russ, with the Raquels, and the other guys that fall into suit, of course, Tristan Yari as well. And more guys coming up. I think Joseph is still going to be a good player. So they have some good younger guys that are not studs, but might be good chip-in, like pool-in players. And then kind of fit in around there. Gensel, obviously, is a good player. So everything kind of seems to still match into place. And we know Pittsburgh is likely going to be one of those teams to conclude this video that is going to be able to find those good diamond in the rough free agents like they do like the high needs every single year that they are able to grab somebody that really has their best year with them i would see that happening again but this has been a video on pittsburgh having great signings throughout the off season uh we did that talk about mainly afghani malkin but we have to give them credit they brought in malkin raquel rust and latang all for a combined 22.3 million annually Way less than that would have been expected, according to the great Josh Yeo. So you got to give Ron Hextall credit there. I still think he has to focus on the people side of things more. But here he did a very good job. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please hang subscribe down below. Above on the easy juice widget. Keep us growing to the next goal of 300 or more.